Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel, and um, I did see a few people mentioning problems with Patch Tuesday updates on Windows 11 in the comments, uh, and been investigating and looking at the blog post, the feedback hub, and see what's happening. It does seem that there's um, quite a few people that are having issues with the uh, May 13th Patch Tuesday security updates on Windows 11. So, of course, we did talk about Windows 10 having that BitLocker issue, and Microsoft issued an update today, uh, emergency fix for it. So what are the problems in Windows 11? Well, um, first of all, some are uh, talking that File Explorer is broken, it freezes, or if you're trying to get any menu buttons or menus in themselves, it takes an enormous amount of time before it shows up or it just feels like you're clicking on nothing, nothing's happening. Uh, not clicking is pretty much the same thing. So this is one of the big, big common problems that I've seen um, on the feedback hub that seems to be related to the May 13th update. So this is um, kind of interesting. Um, there is also a lot of users that are complaining about error messages when they are installing the update. So when the update um, comes through, of course, it will come through as the uh, KB5058411. And this update is actually going to... Um, try to install and end up with several types of error messages. And there are some obscure ones. And there's also one which actually is a uh, an error message. If you get 0x800, 70,002, uh, you will actually see uh, that basically it uh, is an error message that says, well, okay, the Files are downloaded, but I can't find them to upgrade, which is very weird. Uh, but there's several other ways that it's doing or, or, or having issues. So um, if that happens, uh, I will share the uh, page for the Microsoft Update Catalog for 505-8411. Uh, pick up the one that you need. So the first one here is for Windows 11 uh, standard users. Uh, and the second one is for ARM-based, and the third one for server. Uh, so basically, download it, install it manually. Um, what I've noticed is most people that couldn't install it through Windows Update, it, it worked fine through the download and installing manually. So you can try that out. And last but not least, another problem where uh, people are having problems is in the uh, funds. People play with the text size, play with the funds, and you get an error message that basically says that the font is either being used or unavailable, uh, which is another error that I could see. Uh, for the rest, I've seen some say that there's blue screens, but there's the number of reports is so low that I don't think it's really a problem. I think it's more maybe something very specific to what those people have under PCs or hardware issues. Uh, but the ones that I just mentioned are the ones that are really, truly uh, the problematic ones. So the uh, link to the download is in the description below if you want to try to install it manually. Yeah, the other option would be to just use the uh, the uh, Microsoft reinstall, the Microsoft reset, basically. And... and um, reinstall Windows um, by keeping everything, uh, which, yeah, you know, uh, in the recovery mode, you, you could reset the PC and keep everything and see, uh, and, and, and that probably works. As I've seen some people do it, and they say it works after that. But we want to try to avoid these things, especially they are very long. They take a long time to actually work. So uh, try the manual download in the uh, description below. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.